Hello and welcome. Today I'm doing my Lisa Eldridge lipstick comparison video. So if you didn't see my previous video where I lip swatched all 10 new shades of Lisa Eldridge's lipsticks from her summer 2022 collection, I'll link that below in case you'd like to see that. But the purpose of today's video is to do comparisons for all of those 10 new shades. So I've had some comparisons in mind. I've been thinking about what I wanted to compare for the last few days. And I've also gotten some requests and suggestions from commenters on my previous video. So I'm gonna do my best to include all the comparisons that were requested and all the ones that I think will be relevant but it's inevitable that I'll probably miss something. So if I missed any comparisons that you had asked for or that you would like to see, just let me know and I should be able to do community posts for any additional comparison swatches that you'd like to see. But I have a lot of comparisons to get into right now, so let's get started. So the first shade I wanted to look at is Le Mepris, which is the lightest shade from this new collection from Lisa. Here it is in the tube. This is a pale, kind of beigey, pinky nude. And I wanted to compare it to a couple of Lisa's and actually a couple of lipsticks that I already have in my collection as well. So there's my Le Mepris. I wanted to look at it next to Kitten Mischief. I know that Kitten Mischief is going to be darker and probably a little bit pinker, but I would like to see the swatches next to one another. I'm almost out of my Kitten Mischief, but I have a backup. I also wanted to look at it compared to Velvet Intrigue, which was the lightest velvet in um, Lisa's most recent velvet collection and actually her lightest velvet altogether. So there's that. And then I had two from other brands. The first one I wanted to look at is Valletta from Pat McGrath. This is a discontinued shade. It's in her Lux Transformula, which she no longer offers. But I was kind of just curious to see how this would compare because this was a really great kind of pale nude that didn't wash me out that I've loved in the past. So I just wanted to see how it would compare to Le Met Prix. And the last one I wanted to take a look at is Kim KW from Charlotte Tilbury. As far as I know, this shade is still offered from Charlotte Tilbury. And this has been my go-to very pale nude for a long time. I do have to wear a liner with it, which I don't necessarily have to wear with Le Mepris, although I think it can benefit from a little bit of a deeper liner as well. But I wanted to see how this would compare. There's Kim KW. So from top to bottom, we have Le Mepris, Kitten Mischief, Velvet Intrigue. Then we have Pat McGrath, Valletta, and Charlotte Tilbury, Kim KW. None of these are exactly the same. And I would say that Kim KW is still the lightest one. Le Mepris is just a little bit darker and a little bit warmer, peachier than Kim KW, which I think is still on the slightly warm side but it's um, a little bit more pastel, I guess, and a little bit, uh, it has just a touch more pink in it. Now there may be some duplicate lipsticks being swatched in different comparisons. I'm doing my best to compile these comparisons, but there still may be some duplicates. So next I wanted to look at Rosy Shell and Sunday Matinee from this new release. These are going to be in the same kind of large group of comparisons. And just to let you know, in case you haven't watched a lot of my videos before, all of my videos are filmed completely in natural light. Once in a while, I'll bring out a small ring light to help me out, but it usually doesn't affect the overall coloring of the video. But today I'm just in completely natural light. The light coming in through my windows is very gray today, but that's actually pretty good. It, it tends to give quite an accurate view of what the colors look like in real life. So I just wanted to let you know that in case you were wondering. So there's Rosy Shell. And then I have a few that I wanna put under Rosy Shell and then I'll move into Sunday Matinee. So the first one I wanted to look at compared to Rosy Shell, this was a much requested comparison as well, is Love of My Life. So you can see that Love of My Life is 
certainly deeper. I would say it's even a little bit more blue than rosy shell, but they're both kind of cooler toned pinks, albeit well-balanced cooler toned pinks. The one that I was quite curious about is the Charm Gloss. Let's take a look at that. So there's the Charm Gloss. Obviously it's a different texture, but I do see a lot of similarity between the Charm Gloss and Rosy Shell. Rosy Shell might have a touch more depth and warmth, but it might also just be that it's a little bit more pigmented. Next up, I wanted to take a look at Dance Card. This is a much peachier pink than Rosy Shell, but they do have a similar depth, I would say. And I also wanted to take a look at Velvet Beauty, which is another bluer based pink. This is in her velvet formula, so it's much more pigmented and more matte. And I think it looks a little bit more, kind of more earthy, I guess, a little bit less bright than Rosy Shell. And this one's interesting. This is Sweet Pea from Chantecaille, which I don't think is going to look similar to Rosy Shell. It's a similar type of shade, but it is one that's kind of difficult to wear because it's very pastel and very blue. I'm actually gonna put that one up here. So when you look at that compared to Rosy Shell, it's harder to see in the swatch, but I can always tell when I look at it on my lips because Rosy Shell is actually fairly wearable for me, although it is a more blue-based pink. And Sweet Pea is a little bit difficult. I usually end up having to mix a few shades in with Sweet Pea to make it wearable which tends to actually kind of bring it to looking more like rosy shell. It's just a bit more blue and uh, cool toned and a little bit more pastel as well. Now let's pull Sunday Matinee into the mix. So there you can see Sunday Matinee right next to Velvet Beauty. Sunday Matinee is more neutral. It's actually warmer than Velvet Beauty, which is more on the cool tone side. I wanted to pull in Velvet Petal because I think that's probably the most similar to Sunday Matinee. And Velvet Petal actually still looks cooler and a little bit more blue than Sunday Matinee, which is still pulling a little bit warmer. And then Velvet Blush Lightly, which is again even more blue. And I also wanted to take a look at a Pat McGrath. This is one that is still available, I believe. This was part of her Bridgerton, one of her Bridgerton collaborations. It's the shade Negligee. Negligee, I think it's the Satin Allure formula. So this to me is the closest replacement to her Lux Trance, which was discontinued. And it's just a little bit more brown. So it's slightly more toward the nude pink side. And then last but not least for this little set, I have the Rose Ink um, Demure. Demure, I would say, is also pulling a little bit more toward the blue compared to Sunday Matinee, um, and it's a little bit more earthy than Rosy Shell. So going in order here, all of these swatches from top to bottom, Chantecai Sweet Pea, Lisa Eldridge Rosy Shell, and we have Love of My Life, the Charm Gloss, and we have Dance Card, Velvet Beauty, Sunday Matinee, Velvet Petal, Velvet Blush Lightly, and this one is Pat McGrath Negligee, and then the last one down here is Rose Ink Demure. Next up is Meet Me in Berlin, which is actually the lipstick I'm wearing today. I've paired it with the Affair Liner. So here's Meet Me in Berlin. First thing I thought of when I saw Meet Me in Berlin was Velvet Decade. So let's take a look at that. So Velvet Decade is of course more pigmented because it's a velvet matte. It's also a little bit deeper and I would say it's even pulling a little bit more cool tone than Meet Me in Berlin. I also wanted to look at Velvet Affair. That to me is actually closer to Meet Me in Berlin. It has a little bit more warmth in it and the Affair Gloss, just to see. Yeah, I'd say the Affair Gloss is looking pretty similar to Meet Me in Berlin, but a little bit warmer. I see a little bit more orange coming through in the gloss there. 
Next we have Spirited Away and Painterly. Painterly was another one I thought of when I saw Meet Me in Berlin. And as I suspected, it is a little bit more pinky berry, like it definitely has the brown still in there, but Meet Me in Berlin pulls a lot more of kind of a true brown, where Painterly is a brownish berry, in my opinion. And I also wanted to take a look at Chantecaille Tamarind. This is a lip veil from Chantecaille. Similar kind of formula and texture to the Lisa Eldridge ones, and actually quite a similar shade, although Tamarind in the swatch there still looks like it just has a touch more rosiness in it. I also wanted to pull Night Thoughts from the new collection into this round of comparison. So there it is. And actually it kind of looks like the Chantecaille Tamarind is somewhere in between Night Thoughts and Meet Me in Berlin. Then I have Velvet Midnight, a little bit cooler and more purpley. Velvet Myth, much more reddish and rosy, I would say, than Night Thoughts. There was also a specific question about um, Painterly compared to Night Thoughts. So there's Night Thoughts and there's Painterly. Night Thoughts is again a little bit cooler, more kind of purpley and a little bit deeper. I wanted to look at the Victoria Beckham Moody lipstick. which again, I think it's more similar to um, Velvet Midnight than it is to Night Thoughts, a little bit more purpley and cooler. And I think that's it for this round. So again, from top to bottom, we have Meet Me in Berlin, Velvet Decade, Velvet Affair, Affair Gloss, Spirited Away, which is much more reddish than these browner tones up here. Then we have Painterly, Chantecaille Tamarind, back to Lisa Eldridge with Night Thoughts, Velvet Midnight, Velvet Myth, and last but not least, Victoria Beckham Moody. Moving into some of the redder tones, I have Palazzo from the new collection first. Then I wanted to do some of the red velvet, so this is Velvet Jazz. I think those are quite similar in their undertones. Velvet Cinnabar. More brown and warm. Velvet Dragon. More bright and orange. Velvet Ribbon. More cool and blue and brighter too. Then Spirited Away. A little bit lighter and earthier, a little bit more brown in there. Then we have Strawberry Shock, which is another of the new ones in the Insanely Saturated formula. I see more, just more vibrancy and a little bit more kind of bright warmth, I guess, in that one compared to Palazzo. Then Atomic Cherry, which is more corally a little bit lighter, less earthy than Palazzo. And then we have Wonder Wheel, which is another of the new Luxuriously Lucents, which looks a little bit more pinky. And that's true on the lips as well. It looks more like a reddish pink as opposed to the more neutral red of Palazzo. And Strawberry Shock compared to Wonder Wheel is just brighter. It's more saturated, different formula. And um, Wonder Wheel still, to me, pulls a little bit more pinky than Strawberry Shock, which to me pulls a little more to the red side. I'm gonna be repeating some of these swatches, but for this little grouping from top to bottom, we have Palazzo, Velvet Jazz, Velvet Cinnabar, Velvet Dragon, Velvet Ribbon. Then we have Spirited Away, Strawberry Shock, Atomic Cherry, and Wonder Wheel. Actually, let's throw Velvet Morning into this one as well. It's more orangey than Strawberry Shock. And then um, Palazzo as well. Staying in that 
bright kind of reddish pink category, focusing more on the kind of pinkish side of things. Here's Strawberry Shock again, Atomic Cherry, Wonder Wheel. Looks a lot more pink compared to those two. Then we have, um, let's do Skyscraper Rose next. Way more bluish pink. Rainbow Spill. Still looks more blue and pink compared to um, Strawberry Shock. And it's a little bit more similar to Wonder Wheel, but uh, this is more neon and I can actually see more kind of a yellow tone in there that I don't quite see in Wonder Wheel. Then we have Velvet Carnival. Very blue, much more similar to Skyscraper Rose, although Skyscraper Rose definitely has more red in it. And I wanted to throw in Go Lightly just in case anyone has that. And I mostly wanted to see Go Lightly compared to um, Atomic Cherry, but I also would like to pull in Je Ne Sais Quoi, because I think that's a relevant comparison. Je Ne Sais Quoi is more muted and brownish, and it doesn't have that kind of pastel neon quality that Go Lightly has. And it's also more muted than Atomic Cherry up there. And then I wanted to throw Night Thoughts, another one of the new ones, into this lineup. And it's just more purpley. It's probably most similar to Velvet Carnival, but it's a lot more purpley, where Velvet Carnival is more like a hot pink. And then I was very curious to compare this MAC lipstick, this is flat out fabulous. I mentioned this in my preview video for this collection. Really wanted to see how it would compare to New Wave. And as I suspected, New Wave is just a little bit more purpley. I think that flat out fabulous is a pretty similar color. It's still a purpley kind of magenta color, but with just a little bit more red in it compared to New Wave. So from top to bottom here, we have Strawberry Shock, Atomic Cherry, Wonder Wheel, Skyscraper Rose, Rainbow Spill, Velvet Carnival, Go Lightly, Je Ne Sais Quoi, New Wave, and MAC Flat Out Fabulous. All right, I think we're on to our last group of comparisons. These are more kind of corally red type colors, starting with Je Ne Sais Quoi. We have this one showing up again. Next up is Kitten Mischief. Uh, a lot more brown in Kitten Mischief. It's a touch lighter and it's just less vibrant. It's a more earthy color. I wanted to throw Meet Me in Berlin here too. It doesn't really fit in this grouping, but I just actually wanted to see it compared to Kitten Mischief, and I don't think I got around to that in a previous grouping. So definitely more brown. Kitten Mischief is a lot more pinky, although it's still kind of caramelly and earthy. Next up is Spirited Away. Again, more brown, muted, and earthy compared to Je Ne Sais Quoi. Then we have Rose Official which is kind of like the cool version of a rose where Spirited Away is the warm version of a rose, but they're both kind of similarly muted. So compared to Je Ne Sais Quoi, um, Rose Official is a lot cooler and has a lot more pink in it, and it's just less vibrant as well. Then I have a few selections from other brands. First up is Charlotte Tilbury Sweet Blossom. This is a satin formula, and it actually looks somewhat similar to Je Ne Sais Quoi, but again, it is more muted and I can see more brown in that one. Then we have Annie from Makeup by Mario. This is a lot more matte than any of the other ones in this grouping. And again, it's actually pretty similar to the Charlotte Tilbury one there, just a little bit more muted and brown, although it still shows up pretty vibrant on the lips, but Je Ne Sais Quoi is still looking a little bit more bright corally there. Then we have a very new one from Rare Beauty. I actually, this is one of the videos, I filmed a review on this one um, while I was away at my sister's house and decided not to post it because I didn't like my footage. So I haven't talked about this on my channel. This is the shade Lively from the new Rare Beauty Kind Words matte lipsticks. Sort of, again, definitely in this family, um, but it looks a little bit still more brown, maybe a little bit 
lighter and less vibrant than Je ne sais quoi. And then last we have this Chanel lipstick. This is their Rouge Allure Velvet formula in the number 74 and the shade is called Low Key. This one looks just a touch more orangey than a lot of these other ones here and also more orangey than uh, Je ne sais quoi, which is still giving me kind of the most kind of bright reddish coral vibes out of this whole line up here. So again, from top to bottom, we have Je ne sais quoi, Kitten Mischief, Meet Me in Berlin, Spirited Away, Rose Official. Then we have Charlotte Tilbury, Sweet Blossom, Makeup by Mario Annie, Rare Beauty Lively, and Chanel Lowkey. So that's all the swatches I have to show you today. I'm sure I missed something and I'm sorry if you had specifically requested any comparisons that I missed. But as I said earlier, just leave your request in a comment and I'll do my best to post any comparisons that I missed up on my community board. I hope that this was helpful for you. I apologize if my energy is a little bit lower than usual. I know I'm pretty low key to begin with, um, but my, my cats have just been having some drama. Everything's okay, their health is fine and everything. They're just some behavioral issues with my cats. So I haven't been sleeping that well and I've just been dealing with that. So I'm just a little bit more tired than usual, but I hope you enjoyed this video still. Let me know if you have any questions or comments below. I always love to see those. And if you'd like to see more from me and you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I would love for you to do so. Thanks again so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.